Good evening, Warriors. It's Lisa Wolf, and today is Turn It Up um, Thursday. And on t Turn It Up Thursday, I want to um, just tell you guys, like, why I love Jesus and why I decided to change, I guess. Um, nothing, like, really bad happened. I never... I Sorry. I never really hit rock bottom, but um, today when I went for testing, I had a, a revelation, conversation, and relief that with a complete stranger about Jesus that just confirmed my love for him and that in the book of Hosea I will never have any more lovers like Jesus has like wooed me from all those inequities and that harlot ways that I used to live I mean I I was very promiscuous and about five years ago, I made a commitment when I got baptized that that I would remain pure until marriage again. And the last few years, especially this last year, I kind of doubted that. And, and with this conversation and being sick and everything, um... It just like, just confirmed everything for me that he does have a purpose and a plan for all of this. And that's what the lady basically told me today. There were some personal things, but like, it, it just like made everything even more like purposeful and just so meaningful and it just made me even more in awe with him. So yesterday I did release a lot of things um, to the Lord while I was walking. And I just completely re released everything. And this morning was just confirmation that I'm doing the right thing for once in my life. But it feels good. And to have hope for the future and and that everything's going to be okay. So, but I would like to share a writing that I did a few months ago. And it just shows me that I did release um things a few months ago more than I thought I did. I released um me being like the side chick that not being chosen. But the thing is, is that, yeah, man might have not chose me, but Jesus has. And I would like to share um, what I wrote. He loves me. He loves me not. He loves me when I whisper sweet nothings in his ear. He loves me not when I project my own voice. He loves me when I am promiscuously seducing him with a flirty dance. He loves me not when I dance and sing to rejoice to the Lord. He loves me when I'm drinking my hurt away. He loves me not when I'm intoxicated with joy, grace, and love. He loves me when she doesn't boost his ego and runs to me for a safe haven. He loves me not when I want him to love and choose me. He loves me when I keep silent and go with the flow. He loves me not when I shout from the mountaintops that I love Jesus with all my mind, all my heart, and all my soul. He loves me when I beg for him to stay. He loves me not when I walk away. He loves me. He loves me not. Heavenly Papa. 
Heavenly Papa loves me, loves me and has chosen me. He loves me no matter who does not. I just um, want to release, just release all those other lovers and idols that you have in your life. And even with being sick, I release what whatever his plan is for anything in my life. And I know the future is bright. I know the future is full of love and I and the boys and I and and I know that I'm doing this weight for a man that's a king amongst men. And you know what? He has to know himself that he is worth being loved, even though other people, you know, with his past, you, you don't know. But I choose to heal, and I'm healing from the inside out. And I know with all my mind, all my heart, and all my soul that Heavenly Papa is doing the same thing with him. And one day soon, very soon, like, I, I, th I truly believe it's around the corner. He's going to be knocking at my door. <laughs> um, I just hope and pray you guys have a blessed night.